Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. Could Gary McCarthy's days as Chicago Police Superintendent be numbered tonight? The loudest voices in City Hall say they want him fired. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff wanted to find out why. She joins us now live at City Hall. Dana? Rob, at least 18 aldermen, that's more than a third of the entire city council, is behind this call, but there's at least one notable exception. The city council's black caucus used many voices, but had only one message regarding police superintendent Gary McCarthy's future. Superintendent McCarthy's leadership has failed our communities and it's time for a substantial change. These aldermen say his time is up. They want him replaced, citing city violence, the lack of department leadership positions for minorities, and a lack of responsiveness to their community's needs. I think it's just gotten to the point where in all of our wards, um, we're not happy with the results that we're seeing. And the Black Caucus has company. Does this mean the Progressive Caucus also supports the um, call for McCarthy's termination? Not officially, but every member of the caucus has had this discussion about the effectiveness of the superintendent over the last couple of years. It's a show of force that includes some of Mayor Rahm Emanuel's staunch supporters. Former Alderman Dick Simpson says that's tough to ignore. In your opinion, is there any coming back from this for McCarthy? Only if he could show very quickly some new results. But fourth ward alderman Will Burns is willing to give McCarthy that chance. You're not calling for his ouster right now? I, not right now. I think what's important is that uh, we come up with a set of uh, recommendations, demands, changes that we want to see in policy, uh, and we work with the superintendent to get that done. All of this comes about a week after McCarthy wrapped a listening tour, a series of listening tours with Alderman, and a week after he said he still has the mayor's confidence. Tonight, a mayor spokesperson says McCarthy still does have the mayor's backing. No direct comment, though, from the superintendent himself. We're live outside City Hall in the Loop. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay.